Oh my gosh, there she is. The independence of the sea. We have arrived. Ah! Excitement is an understatement, a big understatement. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose and welcome to our first cruise of the year and our very first our very first solo cruise, my first solo cruise. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest, but I'm sure this is gonna be a blast. I am though very excited to finally being, bring a cruising back to our channel. If you guys happen to be new around here, do me a favor and uh, hit that subscribe button. What do you say? Um, let's get on board if we can. Parking was uh, $68 by the way. There she is, the independence of the seas. What a beaut. Now we are actually boarding a little bit late here. I got a text this morning from uh, Royal Caribbean that our boarding time was pushed back by an hour. No idea why, uh, it's 12 like 40, so I'm gonna see if we can board right now. I don't know if they're boarding, but we shall find out. We had a little bit inconvenience this morning. I do see some people on board. I think those are workers, I don't know. I wanna be that person up there. They do have on-site COVID testing. You have to sign up in advance because they only have a limited amount of uh, supply. You have to sign up for a time slot, um, but uh, that I believe is at your expense at $100 here at the port. You can also get a home test kit. Mine didn't come in time, so I had to actually go get a test to, uh, at CVS. I tell you that because you have to get a COVID test before boarding. I had to like upload my vaccination thing as well, my vaccination card. And um, yeah, I have to show them proof that I tested, tested negative. I don't even know where to go. I've never been here. I'm assuming it's this gigantic line of people. This is the point where you need your mask on, your vaccination card and your negative COVID test. So we gotta wait in line. This doesn't seem too messy, you know. This is the best it's gonna get. That was simple. All I had to do was show them my uh, negative test and we are good to check on in, whatever the next step is. Surprisingly, this is a uh, smooth process. You just have to have the right documents. Right as I say it's going smoothly, something rent went wrong. Make sure when you guys show your, uh, back, your um, negative COVID test that you have the date on there when you screenshot it. I did not, but we're good to go. Smooth and fast. We're headed on, I think. I think we're about to board. By the way, a lot of you guys might be wondering, do you have to be vaccinated? Yes, you do, but kids underneath 11 might not be. Uh, they have to come to the port and actually, they have to test here and get a negative test to hop on board. If they don't get negative, they can't go on board. What do you say, we go on board? <laughs> I'm so ready. I think we have to check in first. Yep, that's what we have to do. I just have one. We're up to this gentleman right here. Oh, sweet, thank you. Well, they just checked for my vaccination card and my negative test, and I also got a wristband that uh, says that I'm fully vaxxed. Just like that, we are we're good to board. Very interesting, very interesting process, but very seamless and efficient. Apparently, the reason for the delay is because they had a huge party cruise last night, or like the in last, uh, last Independence cruise. It was a huge party cruise with like tons of rock bands or something, and they partied until like 4 a.m., so not a lot of people got up. Thanks. I'm just excited to finally begin cruising. Oh, expect many more cruises this year. This is the first. It is time, y'all. And believe it or not, I don't have a carry-on. I only have a backpack. It's only a three-day cruise, so it's not like I have to pack so many outfits. Already ran on into uh, some of you guys. You guys watched the videos. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Are we ready yes. to cruise? Yes. Yes. Yes, so let's go, let's, let's do it. Go. <laughs> let's try to get to 2,000 likes, smash the thumbs up button for the very first cruise of, our, of their year and our first solo cruise. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Next three days are gonna be the best days of my life. Dun -na -na -na. Dun -na 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 -na. Here we go. First thing we're gonna do is get our mustard drill out of the way. I think because we're outside, we can take our mask off. I'm unsure. It seems like the right thing to do. You can? Okay. Awesome. Oh, this is such a tease. The promenade. I've got one rule. Do not take elevators. Here's our stair journey. A1. Oh, it's inside uh, the Star Lounge. What is this? This looks lovely. 
Hello. How are you? I'm here to do my mustard drill. Simple, simple, simple. Welcome to the independence of the sea. The promenade is beautiful. This beautiful Royal Caribbean cruise ship is my first freedom class. And like I said, my first solo cruise. As recently as 2009, these were actually the biggest cruise ships in the world, the freedom class. The independence of the seas was built in 2008 and actually refurbished in 2013 and 2018, a 30 day, $110 million renovation. 15 decks built in Finland, two story theater, sitting up to 1200 people an ice rink inside. Royal Caribbean's first ships to ever feature a flow rider surfing simulator on top of their decks, which has become a custom now to Royal Caribbean. Laser tag, water slides, an escape room. Welcome aboard, everybody. It's time to have some fun. Booking my spa appointment for tonight. Gotta get a massage. It's kind of cool because I just paid for 50, but I get 75 minutes. Hasn't even been two seconds and I'm already spending money. Ran on into some more, you guys. Hi! Ready to cruise? Yeah, totally ready. ready to cruise. Let's do it, let's yeah. do it. With so many of you guys on board, what it seems like, I'm not gonna be solo cruising at all. This is awesome. This ship is very identical. I'm getting a lot of the Adventure of the Seas vibe. It feels exactly like that. It's a class up though. Quick stop at uh, guest relations here, and um, we're still social distancing. Interesting. I'm gonna see if they have an upgrade for the room. I'm okay with an interior cabin, I think, and I, I also just want to try it just to experience it. But if I could get like a cheap upgrade for like a, a promenade room interior, that'd be a cool upgrade. Hey, um, I have a question. I was just seeing if you guys have any upgrades available. Can I have your number? Yeah, six one. Well, we just got an upgrade. I upgraded to an interior promenade. We had an interior nothing, but I wanted to do something different, so I booked the promenade, $50, for the whole three days. And because we just upgraded, I think our room is ready. He said it's somewhere over there. I've never had a promenade view, so I'm happy we have this. Definitely better than the interior, no view. Low key, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was a genie lamp being a Disney fan. <laughs> All right, let's go see if our room is ready. It's on deck six. Just kidding, they're not ready yet. You can't even go in there. Look at all these people. It's like rope dropping Disney. They get to your room. We are room 6311. We're getting close. Please work, please work. <gasps> let's go. Oh my God, I love it. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to our interior promenade view. I think this is gonna be my favorite thing. Look at this, people watching. Not to mention the desk space, holy cow. That's where I'll be editing all these videos. Can tell it's a little bit dated, even though they did kind of just have a refurbishment, but I don't think they uh, redid all their rooms, but I'm okay with this. I'm in love with how big this bed is. It looks like a, like a king. It's probably a queen though, I don't know, it's a huge bed. I will say we only have two outlet plugs, there's no USB anywhere. Um, we got a refrigerator, a lot of space over there to put whatever you want. This room definitely lacks modern day technology. I'd love to see USB ports, but it's an older ship, so kind of understandable. Check out our probably tiny bathroom. It's not bad. I'll take it, I'll take it. All to myself. Before I do anything though, I have to unpack and get situated and then we can probably go up top because that's usually what I do first. This is nice in case you happen to lose your mask. You can uh, use these ones that they supplied for you. To say the least, my one worry is how loud it's going to be out there. You know, when I'm trying to sleep, if uh, there's people out there doing anything crazy. I'll uh, keep that in mind when I do a review. I usually go live on um, the boarding day, but today I really didn't want to run around like crazy, so I decided not to go live. Next cruise, we will though. Hint, hint, one is soon. All right, let's get going, let's, let's go up. As far as where this cruise ship is going, we are going after, well, we're sailing away to Coco Cay, uh, Royal Caribbean's private island, and then we're going to Nassau, and then we come back to Port Canaveral, so it's only a three-day cruise, really, really, really quick. And I don't really think I'm gonna get off at Nassau because I just wanna explore this ship. 
Like, I don't feel like rushing with it today because we're gonna have like all day in NASA to kind of explore it. What'd you guys think of the room though? Do you like it? I think it's a lot better than obviously a normal interior and it's not as yellow as it looks. It looks really yellow and orange, but uh, that's just like my camera. I don't know why it does that. Outside we go. Hello, sunshine. Oh yes, I miss that music. We are back, cruising. Nothing makes me happier than hearing this kind of music. It's beautiful out here, wow. We've got some pretty big pools here. Two decent size, we got three jacuzzis, a live band, okay, in a bar? Two bars? Okay, this is where we're gonna get our first drink. You already know it. I kick my cruises off now with a blue Long Island. Mm. It's cruising season, baby. Quick look at the adult section. A lot quieter. No one's even here either. I like that bridge. Okay, you guys have fun over there. We're currently at like the tippy top. I think this is the highest you can go outside. We're mid deck though, above where I just ordered my Blue Long Island. There she is. Considering this is the only thing that I've had to eat or drink today, um, we might need to get something to eat because I'm going to be pretty buzzed soon. Well, that wasn't hard. Just found uh, the mini golf course. We'll have to come back up here. I need to get some food. I'm hungry and I'm, believe it or not, I'm like three drink drinks deep in. Already feeling it. Kyle, this is gonna be a long three days. Legit, I haven't stopped smiling since stepping on board. I am so darn excited, and I hope you guys are too. If you happen to be a smoker, they have uh, designated smoking areas on uh, the Independence of the Seas, FYI. First day means exploring. I love exploring cruise ships. <laughs> Johnny Rockets. Just an FYI, I'm gonna cruise so much this year that I vow to get good at this flow rider. I want to do it, and I want to be good at it. Come on. And don't worry, uh, slides, definitely a must, but I don't really feel like that's a first day thing. Second or third day. We'll definitely hit, hit this. Maybe we'll combine that with Coco K. That, that sounds great, you know? Private island, water park, come back on the ship, experience slides. I think that's a go-to, so we'll do that tomorrow. Oh, but holy banana sauce, it's hot out here. Holy cow, way hotter than Orlando. It's, it's, uh, it's steamy. Chug, 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 chug. Finished. Okay, I'm hungry. We should probably get some food right now. And this ship really does remind me of uh, Adventure of the Seas. What in the world is this? I feel like this is like a kid's jungle gym. Yeah, I'm definitely too tall to go on that, but that looks so much fun. What? Holy cow, I knew there was a rock wall, but this one is huge. I think I'm gonna shoot some hoops. Just made a pal, so we're gonna shoot some hoops. <laughs> a full basketball court. Yeah, I'm not the best at basketball. I promise I'm not that good. I'm just cutting to when I make it. See? <laughs> Joseph and I just uh, shot some basketballs. He's gonna take a picture for our Instagram. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Hey, what's up? Thanks for watching. Oh, uh, no problem, man. I'm he... Otis, just my son, Noah. Hey, Noah. I'm from Atlanta, we watch all your videos. Ooh, man. Atlanta. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. Here, give me a fist pound through the, through the net. Ooh. There we go. Fist pound. You ready? Boom. <laughs> Wait, where are we? I think way in the distance over there, I'm pretty sure that's the Kennedy Space Station. I'm pretty darn sure. It is time for food. And possibly another drink. 100% another drink. <laughs> we should be able to get another drink at the Windjammer. At least be better, right? 
it's washy washy time. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys are here at my uh, Royal Caribbean Adventure of the Seas. Do you guys remember washy washy? I bet you they say it here too. Hello. It's washy washy. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> This windjammer is so open, I love it. I'm ready to eat. This is the first thing I've had to eat all day. Ooh, Chops Grill. We'll be actually dining there on the, the third night. Can't wait for that, that's steak. Real quick, we have a special shout out to Ooh, Ethan. Go Ethan! Thanks for watching Ethan, I'm here with your mom. Why aren't you here? Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna make them jump around before we get some food. You just jump however you want. Okay, it's food time. And if you know, you know. It's time to use the tongs. They hand you the plate and a fork and knife. Thank you. Let's get some food. Without a doubt, this cruise ship is a little bit more packed than the last ones that we've had. So we gotta find a seat. Here we go. I didn't really care what I ate for the first meal because I'm so darn hungry. We got like a sandwich, burger, fries, steak. Y'all know how I am with my burgers. Not bad, tastes like your backyard burger. Not sure how I feel about this steak. Not bad. At this point, I'll really eat anything. Speaking of eating, we, um, we need another drink. Still really weird to me, but I love that I can just leave that and someone cleans it up. Arguably one of the best things about a cruise. Well, we might as well get a drink here in the Windjammer. There's a bar here. How neat. I don't think this was on my last Royal Caribbean on the Adventure of the Seas. I don't think there was a bar inside the Windjammer. They're still uh, doing like every other seat or actually you can't even sit at the bar. It's just, you know, come order and go. Interesting. You see this like pretty much everywhere on a lot of the tables. Thank you, that's for you. Would you look at that? We went from a blue Long Island to a regular Long Island. Kyle, you are, you are something else. This is what I call living your best life. <laughs> Epcot at the seas. There we are, right there. It's gonna be really interesting to see how I can like sleep at night. Cause as you guys can hear, it's pretty loud in here. So I'm interested to see how I'm gonna sleep tonight. I did find a nice empty spot. It's cleaned and ready for me. Might as well just sit here and enjoy the promenade, you know? I was just looking at the app and there's a singles and a solo travelers get together. We'll have to do that tonight. It's at nine after our lovely massage. I'll scope it out to see if it's like cool or lame. If it's lame, we're not gonna go to it. So I'm halfway gone with my Long Island and I ran on into more of you guys. Hi! Thanks for watching. Thank you. You're welcome. It's gonna be no a, a great next three days, huh? Exactly. A great Can't next wait. three days. So I just guessed um, the weight of this and I said 27.5 and if I'm like the closest, I win that. We'll see, it's tomorrow. You think I have a good chance? No, you definitely do. You definitely do. Okay, you we might win. We do. might win. Remember this moment. Imagine if we win that print. We'll have some art. If we win, I'll give it away. I don't even think I mentioned. There's a casino on this cruise ship. I actually don't gamble. I might venture down there one of these days. The only thing I would do is blackjack, but I don't like to gamble. And the music that they play in this promenade is A+. We should be sailing away any moment, but check this out. Here comes the Disney dream. Oh my gosh. What a beaut. Honestly, I love Disney cruise ships, but it's 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 good to be on a Royal Caribbean finally. We've been on that ship three times, so it's good to be on another one, but you hate to see her go. For some reason, we haven't left on time. We were supposed to disembark at 5. It's 5.33. Don't really know what's going on, but hopefully we leave soon here. I'm ready to be out at sea. But look at this beautiful sunset. Wow, we are blessed today, everybody. Just like that, we are finally off. Kicking off at 6.20 here. 
It's actually almost time for my massage. I'm gonna go freshen up and uh, head down for my massage. The ship is really quiet right now. I'm gonna try to go to the main dining because I can go whenever I want. I doubt I'll be able to sit down. Since we have my time, we're not gonna be in the traditional dining area. We have to go down to deck three. We can go anywhere from, from 6.30 to about, I think like 8.30 or maybe 9.30. Somewhere over here. Oh, it's technically still the main dining room. No, oh, we'll see. I don't even know if I can do this. Well, we are a little early. I'm supposed to arrive at 6.45 till like 9.30, but they're gonna seat me. Holy cow, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow, you, thank, thanks for a good seat. I'll sit right here. Thank you. We have a window spot, okay. Servers here, excellent. We actually ordered uh, very, very quick. So, um, what did I get? I got escargot. I've never had that ever before in my life, so we're gonna try that. Great to try that on a cruise ship. Decided to get the Caribbean jerk pork chop, and then for the desserts, the key lime pie. Cruise is all about trying everything and trying everything different. Uh, escargot is gonna be interesting. I've never had a snail before, so here we go. Oh my goodness, this looks like this looks like a swamp. Welcome to escargot. It really smells like garlic. So uh, here we go. Trying to eat. Try well, first time eating snail. This literally looks like a Florida swamp. Honestly, this smells super good. Oh, it's hot. I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it. I'm gonna try one more just to be sure here. That was a weird taste. Woo. I don't think I'm ever gonna have this again. It's too chewy. It tastes like garlic, but I just ate a snail. I don't want to disrespect, but that is just not for me. I'll gladly eat this bread, though. This sauce is delicious. All right, well, we got our pork chop with a dumpling, a plantain, and a rice. This is definitely going to be more up my alley, and supposedly it's a little bit spicy, so let's dig in. On the real though, I hope this is a little bit spicy because I do love spice. Hmm. It's got a hint of spice, but not not much. Pork chop is an A plus. I don't know if you eat this with a fork or not, but I'm gonna eat it with a fork. That's some good key lime pie. These next couple days are gonna be great. I won't be surprised if we gain some weight. Holy cow. Dinner is great. Absolutely great. I can feel the shit moving, rocking back and forth. Massage time, let's get it. The year of the tiger. I think this is the spot. Yeah, this is definitely the spot. I found it, yay. Hello. I've been dying to get a massage for like ever. Please don't die. Just wait. Die? I won't die. Said, we've I've, been dying. I, yeah, I've been dying to get a massage. I'm like, please don't die. <laughs> I won't die, trust me. Okay. Please have a seat. Right. I'm telling you, cruise ship massages, they hit a different way. This was incredible. I need an espresso martini. Goodbye. I'll miss you. I have just been stoned. Well, as to be expected, there's no one really showed up to the to the solo single cruising. It's supposed to be in vintages right here and no one's in there. So I'm gonna go in there and get an espresso martini because I need one. Vintages is more wine. So we're gonna go across the street to, what is this called? Ellen Anchor. I need a wake up call. Can I get um, an espresso martini please? Espresso martini is served. I also got a glass of water. I kind of need that after this massage. I mean, couldn't stop and resist Sorrento's, which is pizza. We have pizza and a drink. Living our best life here. I have no complaints. Today has been great. Well, I'm in my room now. I actually just finished up the vlog. I, I'm so tired, I didn't even <laughs> know I wasn't wearing a watch. It's about 12 o'clock right now. We're gonna get some sleep because I have an early start tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of our solo cruise and our first cruise of the year. Gotta get up around like six o'clock to work out and just kinda maybe have some few, few mimosas before we go to uh, Coco Cay, Paradise Island basically. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And that was it for your daily dose and your first episode of the cruise vlogs being back. Peace out. Jump around. Jump around. 